Local researchers are working on technology to help translate what a baby is trying to communicate when it cries. And if that wasn't amazing enough, we've learned it may also help identify an infant's risk for developmental disorders. I would assume reporter Shante Lance has the story, new at five. Analyzing a baby's cry has been going on here in Rhode Island and across the globe for decades. But this center here in Providence may be responsible for making a technological break in identifying a child's disability. A frustrated cry leaves many parents wondering why. But this guy, Dr. Steven Sheinkoff, is determined to figure it out by listening and analyzing a baby's cry. We're non-invasively measuring a lot of influences. Influences coming from the central nervous systems of babies to show how they produce sounds like crying and more so what exactly each sound means. We could have thousands of data points. Dr. Sheinkoff says each point on this computer-based tool represents little chunks of information used as part of a federally funded team of Brown University researchers and engineers. They created the Baby Cry Analyzer to help researchers worldwide one day identify earlier signs of child developmental conditions like autism. It's fascinating to think about how we can map some of those characteristics that we measure later down to early infancy and what that might tell us about the underlying neurological system that, the, that that's driving those sounds. Right now his team analyzes about 20 babies at a time. To finally tune the acoustic analysis of a baby's cry was Dr. Sheinkoff's short-term goal. But to detect an infant's developmental disorders in enough time to intervene is a challenge he admits will take more time. In terms of the ability to detect risk for outcome, you know, I think we're sort of in the early stages, you know, a quarter of the way there. This center hopes to broaden its research by analyzing up to 1,000 babies at a time. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.